Hey guys, welcome back to lesson 5 of our PyScript series. And in this video, we're going to talk about arithmetic operators in PyScript. This topic sounds pretty simple, but it is important that you should pay attention to this because as we will go along in the video, you'll be able to see that there are some core concepts that you need to clear first. If you don't pay attention, then you might end up facing errors in the later stages. So without any further ado, let's get started. What are arithmetic operators? Arithmetic operators are used in PyScript in order to do the calculations or the necessary calculations that are required to run your code successfully and to do the mathematical calculations successfully. So there are five arithmetic operators in PyScript. The first one is addition and string concatenation operator. This operator is used to add integers, floats, and it can also be used to concatenate the strings. So let me just show you an example here. Here you can see the addition operator being used for addition, okay? Here we can add one plus three, the result will be four, okay? And this operator can also be used in order to concatenate the string. Here you can see euro plus USD, the result of this will be your USD. And here we are adding two strings or concatenating two strings. The second arithmetic operator is the subtraction operator. It is used to subtract one integer or a float from another. Now this operator cannot be used with string. It can only be used with integers and float and also with an a variable. So this is an example of subtraction here. We can see that three minus one, the result of this will be two, which will be assigned to this identifier. The third operator is multiplication operator, which is used to multiply the numbers in PyScript. And the example of this is here you can see two multiplied by three. The result of this will be assigned to multiplication here. And then there is division operator, which is used to divide float and integer numbers in PyScript. And here you can see the result of this will be two, and this will be assigned to this division identifier. Now the last operator here is the modulo operator. The modulo operator is used to find the remainder of the division okay so if we divide 5 by 2 we can we know that uh, 4 is completely divisible by 2 but 5 is not completely divisible so if we divide 5 by 2 there will be a remainder which will be 1 so the remainder of this calculation the modulo calculation will be assigned to the modulo operator okay now let's talk about some of the important key factors that I talked about in the beginning of the video. The first one is that if both operators in an arithmetic operation are numbers, but at least one of these is a float type, the result will also be a float. So here you can see that three plus 3.0 will, the result of this will be 6.0 because if any of these is float, the result will be a float. If both operators are in type, the result will also be an int. And here, three plus three, the result will be an integer type with a six value, okay? Now here, if at least one operand is an A, the result of this value, uh, this calculation will also be an A. And here you can see two plus an A, the result of this calculation will also be an A. We're gonna talk about, we're gonna make a separate video on an A variable about what it is and what it does in PyScript and it is pretty helpful and I'll show you in the later lessons how you can use the NA variable to your advantage <coughs> and this example I have already covered so this is what PyScript arithmetic operators do and this is how you can use them I hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below I would love to answer them also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be the first one to know whenever we upload new content see you guys in the next video thank you